Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Those of you that follow my channel probably know that last week I did a video that was rather critical of Topaz Labs Denoise AI latest update. That was version 3.0.2. My complaint was that when they updated it, they changed the low light mode. And in my opinion, the low light mode wasn't as good as the previous version's low light mode. And I proved it by showing you the same image processed in versions previous to 3.02 and the one that was done in 3.02. Well, I'm happy to say that the other day, uh, Topaz Labs released Denoise 3.0.3. .3, and in here, they downgraded to previous low light models due to reports of quality issues. So they listened to us. They listened to what we had to say that that new low light mode they had wasn't as good as the old low light mode. So they uh, basically went reverted back to the previous low light mode. Now I want to be clear about something. When I came out with this video, I thought I was very clear in the video saying that I still love Denoise. The regular Denoise AI mode and the clear AI mode work great. Those are still the best on the markets, but particularly Denoise AI. It's just that the low light mode wasn't as good as the previous low light mode. But a lot of people were tagging me on Instagram, like they were being nice. They said, I did this in Denoise, even though Anthony Morganti doesn't like Denoise anymore. I love Denoise, all right? It's still my favorite plugin. And it's even more so because they listened to us and they downgraded to the previous low light mode. Now, those of you that might be watching this video, that aren't familiar with Denoise, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration. I'm not gonna use a low light image. I'm just going to use a regular image. It was shot at ISO 3200. And you can see that there's a lot of noise in this image. So I want to send it over into Denoise. Now what I did, it is a raw file and I did some processing in Lightroom, but I didn't do any cropping. I recommend that you save your cropping till after you remove noise. Denoise, and actually just about every noise reduction plugin available work best when they have more pixels to look at. So don't crop away any pixels yet. Let uh, these applications, particularly Denoise, see all the pixels available, remove the noise, then afterwards crop the image. So I wanna send this to Denoise. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go down to edit in and I'm going to go down to Topaz Denoise AI. When I do that, this dialog box uh, pops up uh, the only option is to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. I'm going to send it as a TIFF Pro Photo RGB, 16 bits per component, resolution of 360, no compression, and I'll click Edit. And you'll see over on the left-hand side, there is a progress bar. Lightroom is creating this TIFF file with those specifications, and it will open it up into Denoise. Now, I mentioned there's different modes of noise, and you could choose the, the mode that works best. I'm going to move it up more over the tiger's eyes and a little bit of the background there so I could get a better look at uh, the noise in the critical areas of the image. Now, the main mode is the denoise AI mode. That's the one that you'd probably use most of the time. And I, I, rec I think I probably use this four out of five times. I'll use the denoise AI mode. It usually works best on most images. They also have an AI clear mode, which I found I've not used. And that, you know, maybe on some image here or there in some type of lighting situation, that one may work better. And then over on the right is this low light mode. Now, this is the one that I was complaining about in that previous video. In my opinion, with version 3.0.2, the low light mode wasn't as good as the previous version, but now they've reverted it back. So now, I think everything's great. I mean, all three modes are fine. And you could see, even though this isn't a low light image, the low light mode did a fine job on it. But I like the Denoise AI mode on this image. And there's just still a little bit of noise. Um, I'm using, by the way, auto settings. You can see how auto is set over here. And I think I have that probably on all. There's the AI clear mode. I have it set to auto and the low light mode set to auto. So Denoise is looking at the image and it's setting these two sliders to what it thinks 
would be adequate. But I still see a little noise in here in the denoise AI mode. So I'm just going to bump this up a little bit, let it re-render, and maybe just a touch more. And what's nice about denoise AI also is there's this sharpness slider. So you could enhance sharpness, and this will enhance sharpness without bringing back the noise. So that's nice to have there too. So let's just go with those settings. And I want to use the denoise AI mode. So to make sure that's the one that is active and showing over here on the right hand panel. Also, there's masking available. Again, if you're not familiar with denoise AI, if you just want to mask in the noise reduction in a very specific part of the image, you could do that with the mask. And this image, I want to remove the noise everywhere. So we'll just click apply and then it will render it and this newer version from 3.0.2 on is very fast and there is our our uh, noise reduced version here and every now and then in Lightroom you'll get this little um, up arrow thing here that's because there's some discrepancy with uh, Lightroom's reading of the metadata uh, whether you want to use the older metadata that Lightroom had or the newer metadata that came from Topaz Labs um, I just right or just click on it, not right click, and import settings from disk. That's basically uh, the settings from uh, Topaz Lab. So it's just going to use those. And let's zoom in. So here's our noise reduced image. You can see it's beautifully rendered. We'll go to the previous raw file with the noise. So there's with noise and without noise. With noise without noise. So you can see why I call Denoise AI my favorite plugin of any plugin there is. I just think it's awesome. I think it works great. Now on this image, I have a lot of space over here on the right. So I probably would crop it. I'd crop it from the bottom a little bit because I just barely got her ears in at the top and I don't want to crop those away. And I don't want to crop away any of her whiskers. So I'll just bring it up just enough so that I'm not cropping out her whiskers. And there you go, there is my image. I could do some more processing here. It, it probably is lacking a little bit in contrast, so I could come in and maybe add a little more contrast to the image. Maybe I wanna boost up some vibrance too. Just a little bit. But anyway, that's it, that's Denoise AI. And I'm very happy again that they listened to us um, telling them that the low light mode wasn't as good, even though they claim they improved the low light mode it really wasn't improved. It, it was a downgrade. So they went and took care of that. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>